So, the quest for uh, a royal suitor is continuing. Ah, oh, here we go. Dear Jute Journal, I have chosen some very fine ladies as possible suitors. I've realized I barely know how to proceed. I can't just pick one. How do I figure out who's best? Oh, here we go. Another choice. Another fork in the road. Um, what values should Lord George look for in a suitor? I prefer a strong, aggressive mate. I've always wanted a funny, friendly mate. Um, I don't know. Does he need aggression? Or does he need a friend? Um, why don't we get him an aggressive one? Because he's quite soft. He needs a strong woman behind him to uh, keep him on the straight and narrow. Yes. Clearly, a mother must be fierce and relentless, even without a sword. This will be a test of fisticuffs. Oh, God, he's going to beat her up. That's how he's going to choose. Um, what do I have to do? Brawl with each of them. Well, I think we know that Princess Amy is a good brawler. I think she's been brawling with people around town, causing all kinds of trouble. So let's do that. Oh, he's got kingly duties to do as well. He has to write two new laws and ask two citizens about their life. I don't care about their life. Why do I have to ask? It's obviously brilliant, you know. This is New Connertania, best kingdom in the... Oh, my God. He gave no warning about that. Look at him. He's just beating her up. Kill her. Kill her. Strangle her. Oh, yeah. There we go. She lost. So, obviously, yeah, I think she's out. Should he ask her about life here now? No, he needs a higher relationship. Um, that seemed a tad improper. Though I do think I learned a thing or two from you, Lord George. Uh, who else is he friends with? Oh, we can ask Witchy Woo. Um... Amalthea about life in New Connertania. What does she think? She's probably got some very strong opinions. A woman who dresses in a pointy hat like that generally would. You know, bold dress sense, bold um, sense of self. Who else can he ask? Who else is he friendly enough with to ask how things are going? Marilda, or Meridia, or whatever she's called. Marilda, Marilda, that was it. Marilda! Oh, he'll ask her in a minute, actually. He's got the witch right here. He's going to beat her up. Come on, Amalthea. Let's duel. Take that, you slag! Oh! <laughs> oh, God, look at him punching her. Oh, wow. She's a tough one. She's a tough cookie. Well, if I'm not the best fighter around here, I'm close. But you've got some moves, Lord George. But I don't think you deserve me. Okay. So I guess she's out. So is it going to be um, Amalthea then or whatever? No, that was Amalthea. I mean, um, Marilda. Let's see. Actually, where is she? He better ask her about her day first. Um, yeah, ask her about life first before you beat her up. Because afterwards, her answer is going to be different, you know? I think the fight will corrupt it and the uh, census data will no longer be scientifically accurate. So... Ask your question, George. And then prepare to fight. Fight, fight. Meowth, that's right. Uh, let's get her. Ah! She's like a palace guard. She's um, she's going to be tough. I think she's going to win this. Because he's just like a pasty little king. He, uh... Oh my god. She is grossly underqualified for her job. Ooh, that was a wild ride. A hog tying good time. But I still can't believe I had to do that. Well, I'm delighted to say that play pain courses throughout me. This is a fine group of suitors indeed. Now to break a few eggs. Uh, what do I have to do? Become enemies with them. Oh my god. Um, Alright, this is a very unusual uh, dating process. But I'll, I'll go with it. Um... Declare her your nemesis. Where is it? Mean. You are my enemy, you villain. You villainous, beautiful woman. <laughs> yes. Be gone. Be gone from my sight. There we go. That's one down. Um, oh, crap. I have to go write these laws, actually. I'll find the others later. Maybe I can write it into law that they're my enemies. That will save time. I won't have to go to them personally. Presumably, I know the town crier will let them know. Who's this? Secundus, get off there. That's my desk. Only I may write laws. Oh, my God. 
He's like Jafar or something. He's undermining me, trying to seize control of the kingdom. Don't trust him. Uh, now, let's go make some food. Uh, bear soup. Why not? Tench soup. What's a tench? Is that a fish? I think it's a fish. I'm sure I have one in here, whatever it is. Oh, there it is. A tench. Yeah, it's like some kind of fish creature. It's a horrible name for something. A tench. Who named it? Um, was it named after, like, Dame Judy Tench or something? It was, like, a James Bond fan, obviously. Although she is known for different roles, and her surname is Dench, not Tench. But uh, maybe, oh, maybe it was um, someone fr from a country where they don't uh, vocalise the letter D, so it comes out as a T. Because I was actually studying accents in class recently, and um, apparently in some Eastern European countries, I think they do that, the T and D sounds are very similar. So yeah, it's um, the Eastern European equivalent of Dame Judy Dench. Uh, okay, let's go make enemies with Princess Amy. I don't think we're great friends with her anyway, so this should be easy. Come on, let's go. Out you go. Oh, look at her. She's, she's beating up palace guards, and she still didn't win the brawl. I suppose she's uh, training for revenge. She's in the middle of some sort of Rocky-style training montage at the moment, where she's running around town beating everyone up. Uh, let's go make enemies with Amalthea. Oh, Lord George! W we can stop this now! I see why we've been fighting and through it. I've grown to care for you beyond what words can convey. Did it work? Has she fallen in love? I mean, she's married. She's a married woman. I'm not sure she can be queen. Unless we kill her husband. But I don't want to kill Sorolo. He's my favourite character. Well, George is becoming my favourite. I, I like to do his voice. It's a, it's a very fun one to do. It's very uh, snivelly and uh, interesting. It's turned French for some of his own right now. I do not know. He's a French man now. But uh, yeah, it's, it's just a good one to do. Amalthea in the pub as usual. Oh, such a mess. I think she has a problem. Those potion bottles aren't potion bottles. They're all filled with whiskey. Okay, what's he got to do now? Use the scribe table to write a journal entry. Oh, it's time for another uh, retrospective. Oh, what have we got here? You're riding like a w the waves of a stormy sea on the darkest of nights. Exhilarating. We can put these aggressions behind us and be happy together. And... If you do not see now that I am the one, then you are a fool. Indeed, this has brought us closer together than I could have imagined. Right, let's get back to the castle and uh, write our journal entry. And reminisce about who should be the new queen. I did what I must to test the strength of my suitors. I should write another journal entry to explore my feelings. I bet he'll decide he doesn't like any of them and he'll like marry the crab prince who he's been who's been sitting next to the throne. Does George know about him? He wasn't king when they took him on board. Um he hasn't interacted with him at all. Maybe can I can I go talk to him? No. He's still there. Um as that say, he's been entrusted by me to the crab bandit and must make a nice addition to the throne room. Okay. I guess I can't actually do anything. Oh my god. Get off my desk, Secund Secundus. Hang on. Hang on. Send him to the pit. Out of here, boy. We have no need for you. Look at him thinking of ants. Obviously, he's been conspiring with the insects to overthrow the monarchy. Dear Journal, I was surprised, touched, and even a hint appalled with my suitors. Nonetheless, I have chosen. But how to tell her? Should I keep it strictly business? Or do I want our relationship to overflow with love? Oh, let's see. Um, like, business? Is is she a prostitute? <laughs> Should Lord George, Lord George open his heart or keep this a business relationship? Um, I'm not sure, actually. He has got a lot of money just going to waste, and... It would save time on actually getting to know someone. But uh, let's have a look. Uh, but no, he, he's a romantic soul. Let's get him a deeper relationship. A 
have to write a love letter. I cannot have a respectable child born outside the warm arms of love. So it was prostitution. <laughs> I will draft a letter to my chosen suitor, my heart's desire, my little turret dove. Yes, let's write a love letter. Do I have to pick who it's to? Now to hand this letter to my chosen suitor, to my sweet love to be... Um, oh, now it's time to choose. It's time to choose. Amalthea's not showing up. I don't think I can uh, marry her now. Where did she go? There's no pointer for her. Maybe she's in the castle or something. Maybe uh, they don't show the pointer if she's nearby. Is she here? Because that would be really handy. You know, that would make the decision easier. I just go chat to her. No. She appears to have left town. Um, probably because of this whole enemy thing. So now there's Sorolo's wife and there's the palace guard. And he's a king. It has to be someone of noble blood. I'd want to keep the uh, bloodline pure. So it's going to have to be Princess Amy. So sorry, Sorolo. I'm stealing your woman. This will at least create some dramatic tension in the future, which, you know, we can incorporate into the stories, maybe. Down you go, George. Oh, my God. I bet he's so nervous. I bet he's, like, got butterflies in his stomach and stains in his underpants. Look at the way he's walking. Oh, my God. What's this? Oh, I guess that, um, Secundus failed his test. Well, there we go. That's what happens when you steal the royal writing desk. Oh, look, there she is. There's Amalthea. But she's not noble. So, um, no, sorry. Can I even give the letter to her? I can't. I can't. It has to be Princess Amy. There you go, my love. Oh, my heartstrings sing with joy. You have chosen me. Now which virtues are you looking for in our child to be? What, is she, like, taking a list? Can she configure her womb in that way? That's kind of impressive. Really cool. She just thinks really hard and, I don't know, squirms about a bit. And then she can inject traits into the child. Um, what should this verse... What? Uh, sorry. Where should Lord George search first for virtues for his child? Strength of arms is a worthy virtue to pass along to one's child. Empathy is an important virtue for any royal heir. I think strength, because he's going to need a kid who can beat up Sorolo, because Sorolo's going to make several attempts on his life, probably. I will spar with a strong opponent in search of a worthy virtue for my child. There is a, that is a fine question. Oh, right. I, I'm reading these in the wrong order. Uh, let's spar with someone. Um, how about you, the mother of my uh, child? Yes. Spar, yes. Come back here, wife or girlfriend or whatever you are. Let's battle. Let's go for... Oh my god, he's terrible. Um, oh, he's, she's down. She's down. Okay, let's uh, hilt smash her. Hilt smash. Oh my god, I forgot. He hasn't really trained as a fighter. Um, that was more... Um, what should we call her? Queen Brindy's kind of thing. The previous monarch who um, unfortunately died during one of my quests. So we just we just recruited George. He's like some distant cousin of hers. Oh no, he's lost. Well, I'm not surprised. To be honest, I'd have been surprised if he'd won. Who's that? Is that one of the Baxters? I think it is. No, it's Flower Seller Penelope. I can feel the virtue in my muscles. I've gained the virtue of strength. That's one virtue. But I should collect two more. Which virtue next? Let's go home first. Um, it's bedtime. Bedtime for Georgiekins, and. You know, he can get the other virtues in the morning. Let's go upstairs. Yes. Sleep in your soon-to-be marital bed. Um, Where should Lord jo George search for second... The se uh, what the hell is going on with my reading today? Where should Lord George search for a second virtue for his child? The deep cave must hold hidden virtues. The bustling town surely holds the virtues of the populace. Um, oh, 
this is interesting. Maybe, oh, he should go to the town. He wants his kid to be popular. So let's go there. I'm not sure what virtue I will find in the heart of a crowded merchant town, but it's a vast array of stalls and erudite traders. Must hold one worth seeking. Okay, um, I guess he's sleeping now. This is the boring part of the video. I'm just going to scroll back and forth. No, I'm not. Oh, let's zoom out and have a look around uh, town plan. What we're going to do next? Oh, with those windmills. That is bloody insane. I suppose that's because of the fast forward, but my god. It's like they're going to burst into flames, or one will just break off and go tumbling across, slicing the well in two, killing... Squire Mark is still at that well. What the hell is up with him? Is that guy in love with the wishing well or something? I think he might be. Maybe he spotted his own reflection in there, like Narcissus, and um, has fallen in love with it. There you go. Have some bear soup for uh, the strength ahead. The shopping trip you're going to have to go on today uh, to collect virtues for your child. I don't know how this works. So it's not his wife configuring her um, womb. It's him, I suppose, configuring his testicles through life experience, which I didn't know was a thing you could do. If I ever want children, then I guess um, I know the procedure now. <laughs> Go beat someone up, then go shopping, and then do something else. This town is not filled with charlatans, but with rather interesting characters. There are many bargains to be had, but also friends to be made. Excellent. Oh no, I've got more things to do. Kill a great bear, pass an edict. Two virtues, I should take a rest and visit with my chosen suitor, lest she forget about me. And then I shall eventually search for a final virtue amongst the people. Now that I have spent time with the people of the village, I understand. They are selfless at heart. I have gained the virtue of generosity. Oh, well, that's a weird one. But, um, it'll do, I guess. I wanted some sort of popularity rather than generosity. Uh, let's go hunt the bear. Uh, what, what can he do next, actually? Where should Lord George search ne for the next virtue of for his child? The mind holds all virtues one will ever need. The soul contains the purest virtues. I think mind rather than soul, because with soul he's probably going to have to consort with Sorolo, and we're going to be avoiding him for the next while. I will prod people's minds for the final virtue that I make with me for my heir. That I might take with me for my heir. I am blind today. I am so sorry for the quality of my reading. What? I don't know what's going on. I guess it's very early in the morning, in fairness. It's like half nine on a Saturday morning. I've been awake since about four because I just couldn't sleep. You know, kind of just lying, drifting in and out. It's, it's been exhausting. George tracked down a large black forest bear to his... Oh, we've read that before. He just gets meat. We know that. Tell us something new. Um, now what do I have to do? I have to ask people for deep insight. Here's some people. Let's get your deep insight, uh, Renaud, Renaud, or however it's pronounced, and Emmanuel. Are all these guards French? They all have French sounding names. He who does not look into the pit of judgment does not risk falling in. He also does not capture the knowledge of what lies inside. Do not wear armor to bed unless you sleep in the den of dragons. Okay, two brilliant bits of advice there. Um, who's next? Who's this over here? This uh, young lady. Ask her for a deep insight. It is Servant Gertie. Okay, yeah, she's a wise old servant. She'll know things. She'll know secrets and stuff that uh, regular people don't. Or maybe I can ask this child. No, I don't think I can. The portcullis of opportunity does not crank open by itself. You must open it. Yes, you, Lord George. I, I see. I'm, I'm a king, by the way, not a lord. Many wise words. I have gained the virtue of knowledge. Now that I have collected three virtues for my child, I should write down my thoughts. Ah, oh, perfect. We'll go back to the palace. We'll get some lunch. We'll uh, pass an edict, maybe. Uh... Write down our thoughts, impregnate his girlfriend. This will be perfect. 